So I figured I ought to do a packing list video for my winter travels. Uh, it's quite a bit different than during the summer. Um, in the summer, you want to carry as little as possible, including like clothing, because it's hot out. You want to keep cool. You don't want to overexert yourself and be freaking dying of heat exhaustion out there. It's a bit different in winter because you want to carry extra clothing to keep yourself warm, keep yourself from freezing to death, literally. So, I am uh, doing things a little differently than I did during this past summer. Le this past summer, I hitchhiked from uh, Martinsburg, West Virginia to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and then I took a Greyhound back because I got sick of the heat. I can't say whether I'm going to do the same thing as far as taking a Greyhound back or if I'm just going to haul ass back when I'm done in Denver uh, through whatever travel means. Sorry, I'm watching my cat mess with uh, stuff that he shouldn't be messing with. Hold on. Get down. He's messing with my cardboard here. This pile of mess here is, the, and there's more of it on the floor. It all, it all wouldn't fit in the chair. Um, I'm not sure how I'm packing that just yet, but I'm taking all of that for a combination of panhandling signs and insulation from cold metal because the primary thing that I'm doing differently this time around is I am train hopping to get where I need to go because hitchhiking out of Baltimore is a bitch and I don't have the money that I had to get myself to Martinsburg, West Virginia before. So, yeah. Mammo, I swear to God, if you don't stop making noise. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've got the cardboard. I've got these which dangle on the outside of my bag. It's just basic uh, plastic grocery bags. They're always useful for any number of things. Um, this bundle of grocery bags here is actually a secondary jacket. I'm not sure if I'm taking this yet. Uh, I have to do a final test on temperature uh, endurance with my normal uh, stuff, which is that back there. Oh my god, Mammo, stop. <laughs> this cat is being such a pest. Look at this little brat. What are you doing, huh? Why are you... Yeah, meow to you too. What are you doing? I'm trying to knock all my stuff over. Brat. Okay. <clears throat> so... First and foremost, here is my bag. It's a basic Walmart 45 liter internal frame pack. It's uh, had some had some memo knocking my stuff over. Okay, it's had some repairs done to it. This is a combination of sewing on the inside of this and tape on the outside as the outside layer to hold these straps to the pack because the burden of weight particularly this one was the first one to go because I'm right-handed so I always pick up with the right side um, other than that though this pack is doing pretty well for me it's carried a lot of weight that it probably didn't need to carry so yeah that's my pack uh, this is my little bed roll pad thing this was uh, a find, an interesting find at Gathering the Juggalos 2016 next to a pile of trash. Don't know why someone would throw it away, because it has served me very well since I got it. This is my tent. It is a Walmart $40 tent uh, for two people. I think, I think it was $40. Um, yeah, it's just a basic tent. Uh, what else? Okay, as far as... Mammo, I swear. <laughs> He's hyper for some reason. I love this cat to death, but he can be very irritating sometimes. But he's a cat, so it's par for the course. Um, <clears throat> so, I've got a basic fancy hat. This was actually a ground score in nearby train tracks. Uh, middle of the summer, I think this was. I was just kind of going around exploring the town and 
found this in a muddy pile by the train tracks and it's a little damaged on the inside but it works pretty well for what it is so yeah nice fancy little hat with a little puff at the top <laughs> um this is my preferred hat it's uh very large which allows me to cover my ears my forehead actually i could cover my eyes with it if i wanted to um so yeah i prefer this one but i, I typically like to layer these two when it's really cold because it provides a little extra protection plus the um the little strings on this actually provide a little bit of protection for my chin which is nice i've got uh this is I'm actually not sure what this is supposed to be, but I use it as a scarf slash face covering for when those really intense windy days are just blowing everything around and it's really biting cold out. So this works very nicely for that. Oh look, a little piece of cat fur. <laughs> um, I've got two pairs of gloves. I'm not sure if I'm taking these or not. These are like more casual type gloves. Um, they got a little leather, leather-ish pad here for grip. These I'm definitely taking for sure though. These are waterproof gloves. They're a lot larger and a lot more, provide a lot more cover for the hands and wrists. So these are definitely 100% going. Then I got my face mask, which I am definitely going to need. I wish it could be black so that it would be a little bit more covert. In times of needing to hide since train hopping is technically illegal but it is what it is it's my favorite color so that's that <clears throat> um, I got a nice pair of thermal socks these are the most comfortable pair of socks I have ever owned I love them I need more and the problem is they're a little on the expensive side even for Walmart so I only had two pairs and I've lost one of those pairs since I got these last year. So I've got one pair. So these are going to be getting washed a lot. <laughs> and then my basic nice warm winter coat. It's very, very comfortable. And the, the inside of it is very similar to the inside on this, but this is a bit bigger and thicker compared to this one. That's why the one that's in here is uh, more of an inner coat. It's actually the inner lining to a coat that doesn't fit me. But for some reason the inner lining fits me, the outer lining doesn't. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's that stuff. Um, it has a basic bungee cord to strap this to the outside of my pack and probably some of that cardboard too. I don't think it's all going to fit inside. Uh, I've got my clothes, a few shirts, including the one that I'm wearing, a few pairs of underwear, including the one that I'm wearing, thermals, thermal underwear. These are so freaking important. Pair of pants, pair of uh, a shirt, not a pair, pair of pants and a shirt. Um, I actually would prefer to have the body suit, the long johns, whatever, but I don't have them. I have that instead because I'm kind of a big guy. I got a big gut here, so I need stuff that's going to actually fit me properly, and that stuff does. Uh, I would prefer if the shirt was a little longer, but I'll take what I can get. Ugh. You need to stop messing with stuff. I swear this cat's going to be the death of me. <clears throat> I've got a hoodie here, also in my favorite color. Um, I'm thinking this is possibly going to replace this coat, even though the coat is infinitely warmer. It is also a little bit restricting, and this hoodie is not, so that's probably going to end up being what I take for a, an additional layer of warmth. Plus, it's, it's a hoodie, so that provides additional protection from, like, wind and... and weather and whatnot. <clears throat> okay, moving on to the more fun things here. I'm going to sit down on my bed. I have a ton of pairs of socks. 
and I may cut down on these. I'm not sure. Um, one rule of thumb when traveling homeless is to always bring tons of socks and take more than you think you need. That is definitely more than I think I'll need. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as that. I might take the, I might take them all. I might take a few pairs. So I'll have to make that decision down the road. Uh, a couple of uh, shop rags. I like to use these as handkerchiefs. They're a little bit better texture than normal handkerchiefs. Like, this is a normal one. Also in my favorite color. <laughs> and, um, like you see, it's a very plain texture. It's very smooth. This is much rougher. It's better for itches. Like, if your nose itches and you just want to scratch it real quick. Or, um... You know, soaking stuff up, it's better. So, I prefer those. I do have two regular handkerchiefs. Just because... You never know what you're going to need them for. So, it's better to have them than not to have them. <clears throat> um, a pair of earplugs. I've, everyone that uh, I've looked into about this says that earplugs are necessary when train hopping. Because they're extremely noisy, and I am also kind of, um, I kind of have sensitive ears as far as high-pitched noises, which there is a lot of with metal on metal. So, definitely going to want these. <clears throat> um, got some Tums here, because I tend to get pretty bad heartburn. A uh, little pack of crackers that actually goes with the tuna thing that I'm not sure where that is. Oh, here it is. Uh, there's a spoon for it too, a little teeny tiny spoon somewhere in this mess. It originally came in a little box that was about this big, but it makes sense to be carrying that heavy box when I can shrink the size like that. <clears throat> um, really, Mamo? He is determined to ruin this video. <laughs> I, I've got a headlamp, very nice. Headlamp, it's got two settings like that, and then a red setting for when you need to have low light. Um, but you still need to see. I have several Sharpies for writing on my cardboard. I have a bunch of these. Like, I don't even know how many I have. I have so many of them. Deodorant, of course. Uh, cough drops. I typically don't need these, but I carry them because when I do need them, they are a lifesaver. So, it's only a teeny tiny bit extra weight for when I do need them, I have them. Here's another Sharpie. <clears throat> Vaseline. I'm not sure if I'm taking this or not. Uh, it's a little weighty, but... I have skin issues, so it might be helpful to have. No, it's not for anything perverted. It's just I have legitimate skin issues, which is also why I have lotion. Like, oddly enough, I'm allergic to water. Not the water itself, but um, chlorine in the water messes my skin up pretty badly. And speaking of water, I have a water key. This is a little socket type thing um what this is for is commercial buildings tend to not have the little twisty handle on their water spigots they have a locking door with a square on the inside where that that wheel would normally be and this has four different sizes of those squares so that you can turn that and turn the water on when you desperately need water and no place is open or no place is giving you any. This literal lifesaver. I have asthma, so it's nice to have this. There's actually, technically it's empty. It has, uh, it's hard to see, but it has zero puffs left on it. <clears throat> but I keep using it because there's little teeny tiny traces of the medicine in there. And what little bit of relief I can get from it is wonderful. Aura gel, nice to have for mouth pain, which I have a lot of sometimes. 
spare batteries for my uh, headlamp. This is part of a repair kit type thing for the bag. I'm carrying these to try to eliminate the need for needle and thread, which is what is in here and in here. Fingernail clippers. Why not? Pen. I also need to get a notebook because I do plan on doing a bunch of writing. Condoms. You never know. It's not likely, but you never know. Better to be safe than sorry. I'm definitely not trying to have a kid. This little medicine bottle contains more Tums-like medicine. Like I said, I have heartburn issues, so there's that. Got some electrical tape. Uh, I don't even know if I'm taking this, to be honest. But right now it's in my stuff, because it's better to be safe than sorry. Duct tape, as is shown on my bag, I use it for that. And it's just good to have a roll around because you never know what you're going to need it for. Wires to charge my phone with, which is what I'm making this video with. Um, Self-explanatory. Got a little uh, hand cloth here. Which is just nice to have for washing up. Uh, if I have allergy issues, then I can put this with some cold water over my eyes. And it'll stop my eyes from itching and burning. Triple antibiotic ointment, because it's always you always need to have some sort of medical kit. Got some tape, some medical tape here. I've got these, which are, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use these or not. I was given these while I was out on my travels during the summer. Um, green tea and cucumber, shampoo and conditioner. I might, have, I might use that, I might not. <clears throat> this is something else I was given during the summer, aloe vera gel. I got a pretty bad sunburn at one point, and this was wonderful to have. It made it feel so much better. So, definitely taking this with me all the time. Q-tips, self-explanatory. Gold Bond medicated powder, self-explanatory. More needle stuff for sewing. Toilet paper, also known as shit tickets. These are something you really, really need to have just in case you need to go to the bathroom when you're on a train, which is most likely to happen. Mamma, if you don't stop interfering with this video. Um, the only other things to speak of is food, really. Uh, beans, baked beans, one small can. I've got two little light packs of freeze-dried strawberries and freeze-dried bananas for when I want something sweet. <clears throat> I've got two packs of protein things, peanuts, uh, beef jerky, and sunflower kernels. Then I've got four packs of tuna. Two, three, four. Oops, that was not in camera. <laughs> now, four packs of tuna, two of each, one light, one lemon and pepper. It's better than carrying the cans, and it's filling and it's delicious. And then the final thing is peanut butter. It's high in fat, high in salt. It's tasty and just a, a travel staple for its value. Um, I also have a uh, pack of tortillas, which is already in the bag. I actually need to pack this stuff, so I just didn't bother to take it out. The only other thing that is missing is my, um, my sleeping bag, which I have my summer sleeping bag over there, but I have a winter sleeping bag that I have to pick up tomorrow. Uh, it just got in today and I did not have the chance to go to get it. So tomorrow I will have my winter sleeping bag. I will have 
a much uh, much less difficult time freezing to death with that. It is rated to zero degrees. It's probably more so rated if it says zero degrees. I've come to understand it's ten to twenty degrees warmer than that. That it is actually where it is comfortable because that's the case with that. The one that's over there is rated to 40 degrees and is damn sure not comfortable at 40 degrees. I'm freezing my nuts off when it's 40 degrees out and I'm in that thing. <clears throat> so, yeah. A zero degrees sleeping bag, probably 10 to 20 degrees is where the comfort level is at. Probably closer to 20. So hopefully I won't get into a situation where the temperature is lower than that. I'm going to be sticking to the south, so I hope. So... It uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, other than that, uh, there's a couple little odds and ends, like my wallet, uh, the phone itself, an additional charging wire, uh, two um, charging packs for the phone, this, this little thing. It's a USB charging pack. Oh, another food item I forgot. Pita crackers. Garlic and chive. I'm going to take them out of that box and put them into a little more compact uh, packaging. Easier to put into the bag. Uh, yeah, other than that, there's really not much else to say. It's a fairly complicated packing list, but I discovered over my time during the summer that a lot of this stuff was wonderful to have. I only used it a few times when I needed it. It was there, and I was so happy to have it. So even though it puts my uh, pack to be a little bit heavier than I would like, it is better to have it than to not have it. This cat, I swear to God, he is being the world's biggest pest. Look at you, you're going to be on YouTube, buddy. Little brat. So yeah, that is that. Um, feel free to ask any questions if you have them in the comments. And have a great existence, I suppose. Two Wheel Traveler is out. Peace.